Hi, Raphael Grosswert, No Limit Coin here. The reason I'm doing this video is a little bit uh, awkward reason, but all of us that are in crypto encounter uh, attempts at scamming pretty much daily these days. It used to be, you know, a few a week. Now it's daily. We're, you're used to it. We get good at trying to identify them or identifying them, and we get very suspicious of anything, even the legitimate rounds, right? And that's how we we keep everything safe. But but I came across, or so, so I crossed the paths of somebody that's impersonating Justin's son, the CEO of Tron, and I did a, a little bit of, of research, and he already there's already an article about this attempt, and I crossed paths with this person that is doing a deep fake uh, Justin's son, and I basically documented everything. I knew from the beginning it was fishy, but I still dragged it out. I stringed it along just so we could document it, put it out there, and as a warning to the whole crypto world. So I'm going to share my screen here and show you what you know everything that kind of how it transpired, right? So um, let's see. So I want to show you. So initially, I'm going to uh, Skype. I'm looking for Justin, my friend Justin Vello, not Justin's son, Justin Vello or Sooner OK, which is the creator of Verge, great coin, top 100, incredible community, great friend of mine. I wanted to ask him a question about a wallet, something to do with uh, with with burning coin but anyway so i put in justin and it says son i said whoa justin son i click this is what i see i said wow this is my lucky day so i said hi justin this is rafael is that really you this is rafael no limit coin is that really you and then he's like how'd you get my private you know skype so he plays the part well i'm like hmm so of course i'm like what if it is true right what if i did you know so there he is, you know, the great Justin Sun, founder of Tron, one of the most visible figures in crypto. Uh, that lunch with, with uh, Warren Buffett was brilliant. I applaud him for that. I mean, if we could get that bear to turn uh, bullish, boom. I mean, the sky will be the limit. So there's the real one and there's the fake one, right? So that's who, uh, you know, I, I started chatting, then he calls me on video. I kind of like panic. I knew there's something wrong, so I'm like, hey, let's get on a Zoom call so I can record it. Um, so uh, you could see right away there that there's no way, you know, it, it, there's something wrong there. But you look at the ears, you look at the nose. Uh, did he do plastic surgery? I'm like, no, it's a deep scan. I saw that other article. And you can see how he hacked the Google search images where he appears on page one. Now, that alone is a feat. How do you get in there, right? So, you know, I asked him to email me. He emails me from the correct domain, right? I mean, if you look at um, Tron's page, there it is, press at Tron Network. I thought, okay, well that, you know, at least, but what I'm gonna show you is that, that it's easy to spoof an email. A lot of people know that, but a lot of people don't. So he writes from press, I'm like, okay. So I replied to him and then I'm asking him, hey, go ahead and reply to me. That's the way you, you really find out if it's legit email or not, because anybody can put uh, any email, but it's on the reply. So, so I replied and he, he wouldn't answer me. So, so I said, hey, I need you to reply. He says, I'm gonna send you, uh, and you can tell right there, if you look at the source of the email on Google, you'll, you'll see how it says fail. So, but who does that, right? I mean, Google doesn't even wor warn you that it's a spoofed sender. So he sends me another email from his, you know, apparently direct email. So that's like, wow. And he even is able to tell me what I said. He goes, oh yeah, I got it. It says, you say, okay, I got it. Just reply to this email, please. I need a reply to my reply. He repeated that after I had been kind of like being, you know, tough on him. I said, oh my God, he saw it. But then what I saw was that the reply to email was this one. And that's when I said, dude, you're going to jail. And you can see that, you can see that. If you look at the information there, you can see the reply to is a completely different email than the sender. Yet 
yet Google doesn't even alert you of these things, right? So you want to go to show, you want to go to show original, and then you can look at the source, and then you can see all the places where that, that domain fails. So it's, you know, most people aren't going to do this. I mean, I don't do it all the time, but it's there. And Google should, you know, alert people, uh, you know, a lot easier. That other article had, you know, the passport. So it's pretty, pretty elaborate, right? Um, you can see here, you know, I was looking for, for Justin, my buddy. I initially started as like kind of a project or a hobby because I was already in a position from crypto to, to be able to take the time to do that. Um, and so that's what I did. Actually, I saw an interview and you really died. So that's Justin Vela from XVG. He's, he's a cool guy. He's the author of, of uh, NLC2. And look, you could see here how, you know, on, on Justin Sun's search, boom, there he is again. So that picture got through. Uh, you can see all the searches here. This came up. Um, so this other article is what, what kind of like, you know, you could see here, um, mochimo.org, they also, you know, went through this whole thing. And then they, there's this fake profile of this lady, you know, Shelly Wu, and they do that. They set up these fake profiles on, on, on LinkedIn, 500 connections, all these degrees, Harvard, whatever, and all these things. And you can see. You know, it's hard to, so that's what is on the other video, right? And the guy that was, so they were onto it also, good. So, um, and there is the IP address that came up in the email. So if somebody is really good at finding, you know, I looked it up, the source, so maybe through the EP. IP address, we can find him. I'm going to uh, file a report with the FBI. And here's the incredible thing. When he emailed me, he emailed me this contract. Look at this. This whole contract. I mean, many pages, nine pages. Totally legit looking. You know, I'm doing a deal with Justin's son. Look, obviously, you know, so that's, so now let's look at, Let's look at uh, the video or the call, right? Let's look at my call. Here, here I am with Justin Sun, CEO of um, Tron. How are you doing? I want. I, I almost forgot. I want to basically show you uh, that I originally tried to get him on Zoom and I couldn't get the sound, but that was good because now that I look at it, that's what. You can tell it is a deep fake. Check this out. So I, so I know this is a mess, right? Sorry about this, but this is like my third. So I'm waiting for his call because boom, there he is. I'm like, hey, hey. I knew right there, What's right? I know. I can't hear him. Uh, hold so on. I'm I can't hear messing with my I'm audio, sorry. you know, this, Ready? that, my headset. Something's not working, mm. but if you if you look at the image, it starts to pixelate. The mm. eyes start getting a little weird. Um, Wait, and I hear you. Hold on. And I had never hadn't even looked at this Speaking. until I was doing the video, and I saw that I said, "Oh, it was actually a good thing." So I'm you know fiddling there with everything. Look at my background; it's not looking good. Wait. But you can tell right there how certain pieces do give it away in terms of it being, you know, a deep fake. And you can see the image, how it pixelates and it wobbles a little see, bit. So it's, it's a little scary that at some point, you know, maybe this technology is going to get a lot better. Mm -hmm. I hope Testing not, one. but can it you is. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. Hold on. Let me, let me. So, all right. So that was that. So let's look, listen to the actual call. Uh, we can get you some free 
He wants me to buy his token, obviously. And we were offline. I said, hey, give me, you know, 25x to our market cap right now. And I'll, I'll, I'll let you acquire us and we'll move to Tron. I said, no, give me Tron. Give me 25x my market cap. And I'll move over. Yeah, I, I understand that. And I looked at TRG and, and I think uh, we can accept that. So, of course, so basically, you're I was just bringing him along. There was no way, right? So, it? making sure that that's clear. Um, I was just stringing him along. I see. In return, I get you promotion. I get you. And I. And this is Skype because, you know, he called me back, luckily. But I didn't know how to record Skype. And here's the second part. Uh, can you tell me about your lunch with Warren Buffett? So, okay, you're <laughs> I gonna kept asking him, and he would get and irritated. Going to go ahead and, and, and buy uh, some of those tokens. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm just saying that. that. Don't think I was serious. Come in and support no limit coin. That's cool. Uh, can you tell my my partners how how it, was that lunch with Warren Buffett like cool? Well, it was cool. It was cool. <laughs> I keep asking about it. I know, I know. Hey, just one last thing. I the sent key. you uh, an invite on LinkedIn, and uh, uh, can you can you confirm my invite? And can you like email me dev at nolimitcoin.org? Uh, you know, just something from like the Tron domain, just so you know I can have your email address and your LinkedIn. He's okay, gonna I, give, sent in, uh, I sent you an invite. Um, so he's going to give some lame excuse about him not managing his social media, but that's that's the key. I went to LinkedIn. I, I tried to, you know, I sent an invite to Justin, son, the real one. And I said, all right, go confirm. And then I asked for the email and, he, and you saw those emails. So that was like, whoa, until I later looked at that reply. And that's when I found out he was spoofing the emails. So he's yeah, Dev at no limit coin confident and about the email. The but the social media. Interesting uh, friend uh, link there. So can you confirm that one? My social media thing is I don't want to chat if uh, my connection is on the channel or the chat. Besides, we're not yet partners. So probably um, after the partnership, we can do it. So now he's doing the, you know, if you don't want to do the deal, you know, he's playing the role decently, but no, the voice is different. Look, I respect. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. So I'm playing along, all right? Because I don't want to lose him. I want to keep him engaged. I want to record him, you know, make sure that we expose him properly. It's 80,000, 80, right? 80,000 is the investment. He's asking for 80,000. I got it. Um, so, um, all right. So, so you said send me something by email, like something, the agreement, or post it on the chat here. And if you can confirm my LinkedIn request for, for right. a hookup, you know, for for that would be very nice. Um, what else is going on, Justin? So everything good in the Tron world? Yeah, we're doing 4.0 protocol. You know, he's like, we're moving to 4.0 protocol, so he gives the whole. Okay. All right, Justin, nice talking to you. Send me the documents. Bye. You too. All right, so I'm going to post the link 
with a zip file that contains all those images I showed you, the, the, the individual videos, and if anybody wants to, you know, wants to check it out. And I went through the, you know, the image of the IP address that shows up on the emails. Maybe we can track them down that way. I'm going to file a report with the FBI. But this is, you know, it's serious stuff. And just everybody out there, hey, just watch out. It was interesting, you know. And uh, if Justin's son is looking at this, then you have to watch out for this guy. Have a great weekend. Uh, stay safe. And thank you, everybody, from our community and just the whole crypto world's cool.